what's up guys this is the Broferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Persia and in this episode we are attacking the city of Yerevan and destroying the Ottoman garrison taking another step towards Middle Eastern dominance uh, we are quite badly outnumbered but the most scary thing they've got is a lot of camels and we've got pikemen and a decent amount of melee infantry we will have to attack quite aggressively though because they have mortars so let's get to it we're probably going to take a good number of hits in this one, but that's okay. We should have the numbers needed to do it. But yes, the order will be uh, push forward, be aggressive, close the distance, and my camel and my general are both going to have to do some good work this time. But I think I need to be a bit more aggressive across the board here. Otherwise, I think the Ottomans are just going to start to outnumber us. They're going to start to be able to... Uh, swamp us in numbers, and we're not going to be able to recruit the numbers to to uh, defeat them. So let's take get my infantry block, push forward as one infantry and two melee units, or skirmishers and two melee units on one flank, skirmishers and two melee on the other, camels in general. Um, okay, where's their mortar? There it is. Actually, let's see. You know, if they're coming at us, which it looks like they are, then in which case, we may hold instead. We may well hold. I'll keep one skirmish melee unit out on wide. That's their camels on the right. Plus their general. Yeah, they're coming. They're the charge. Is that what they, they are? Are they pushing forward? Yeah, they are pushing forward. Yeah, they are pushing forward and their mortar crews have abandoned their guns. So we 100% want to do this. Yeah, I want to keep some Feline out on the flank. Some uh, Zimandari pikemen. Well, I want some melee troops kind of hold behind in case we get a camel charge in front of our line. Camels hold. Can you guys hide? Hide in woodland. Get in there and hide yourselves. But yeah, the mortar crews have abandoned their guns, which is great. Camels on one flank, they're quite isolated. Maybe mass our camels on the our mass our um some fell in on the right flank. So if we knock them out early, that's good. Camel's unit sat at the back. Camel unit over here with the warrior. Desert warriors and Muslim. Muslim. Islamic swordsmen. Semini. Their gun crews are steaming towards us. Again, that's it's really quite great. They are choosing to sally. I've typically thought that if the if the AI has a artillery superiority, they don't come at you. But at least this is very good for us because at least we can be a lot more dynamic. There we go. They're shattered. So now we can manoeuvre however we like without concerning ourselves with what the AI thinks. So that's their Camel Nomad unit. They've stopped moving up. Taking out one of their gun teams. It looks like their Muslim are going to advance forward. I mean, this is this is really quite useful that they're coming towards us in like pieces, so we can focus our firepower on individual units. Do you see their camels going wide on the flank? Okay, pikemen. Okay, let's put. Fold that flank in, put my pikemen here, camels sit further out. Ok, 
to think. Mm. See, now they've stopped. We probably. Push forward, probably catch the Muslim out on the flank. We'll get the Muslim in range, we'll start opening up on them. Secure the high ground. Secure the wood. Pikeman bolster. Wood. Uh, Pelin, get over here. Camels. Camels push up to about here. So you've got the first volleys off on them. They're not actually. Okay. They can't push up that float towards us. So that should be safe. We don't want to push up too far because they are melee. A melee focused army. We do want to. Use our firepower advantage. And my fellow musketeers are going to hold the left. Camels have fallen back. Okay, there are their bashy bazooks. Okay, here they come. Right, I might actually get my camels over here. Hold. They've been broken. There we go. The core of their army spirit we're now engaging. We've got firepower enough to defeat them, that um, that unit. See if we can get their uh, some of their, their their troops to commit. Attack the Muslim, thin them out a bit. Shatter them, retreat. Bashi bazooks are coming in. Desert Warriors are advancing. Camel Block is still there on the right, on the left, up on the high ground. Make sure you got guard mode on. Get back, form your line. Zooks. Try to get my general in there. Get a good charge off. Let's get the Feline in here. They're bringing up another unit. And a lot of melee troops. I'm going to kind of need my cavalry charge to do some good. Go on, break them, break them. No, general, get out of there. My camels can displace. Feline, push forward. Camels are on mass out here. General, get out. Might be to pull one of these units away, actually. They're chasing my general. In which case, focus on the unit that's wavering. Are oh, they shattered? Focus on the Bashi Bazooks. So I've got you over here. Might bring you straight back. So they're gonna camels gonna charge into my line. They're coming. The pike can get ready. The bashy bazooks. No, my belly shoot the enemy general. Okay, you men charge those guys. Pikemen. Move forward to engage the camel nomads. Get some Israeli up here as backup. No, my general do not charge their general. Skirmishes are okay. My pipes. 
to my Thulene. Well, no, they, they, they seem to be doing okay. Where are my pikemen? My pikemen are going to be the boys to do this. Clear out those camel nomads. My camels are coming up. Miss O'Reilly, get in here. No, no, no. Get in here. My pikemen are going to be doing most of the killing. Get my jump. Get my cavalry up here as well. Get my skirmishers to try and run through onto the flank. Hit the nomads. The general, get out of the way. There we go. We've broken one unit. Push my belly up on the flank. These guys can now shoot into the flank of the camels without killing my own guys. It's caused quite a big stir. Kill the enemy general. Charge down into the garrison of Zar. Awesome. Get my 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 Feline back to the line. Get my general back here. Shattered, 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 shattered. Awesome. This flank. Recover. So I'm being chased down by the garrison Islamic swordsman. Yeah, just get back into the line. Rotate this line a little bit. Oh, desert militia has no ammunition. Okay, camels, get over here. Afghan hillmen, get over here. My my fellie might get caught, but that's okay. Pikemen and other units advance. Cheap musketeers and Israeli. In theory, get up here. No, oh, my fellie almost. They've been caught. Keep running. Don't be seduced by the melee combat. Get Hillman, about face, and pour some pour some decent musketry onto them. Go on, new men up. You're in irregulars. You need to straighten up a little bit. You guys aren't actually in range. Although well, you might be about to be. Yeah, you will be. Imminently. Pour fire onto the Muslim. Yeah, Islamic Swordsmen have broken. Muslim going down imminently. Yep, this unit of Muslim is following up the charge. And there's another unit of Muslim behind them. Push forward, camels. Okay, in which case, you are going to charge that last unit of Muslim. I'm only going to speed up time just because. Ooh, actually, the unit came back. And they're going to see. They're going to chase down my cameras instead of. There we go. Broken. Shatter. This Muslim unit is wavering, so as soon as they get into combat, they might well break. Yep. There they go. Bad news. But still, a territory of ours. Excellent. And that's Yerevan taken. That's always nice. Cool. Well, actually, well, we have defeated the Sally. Haven't necessarily taken it. But we'll do that next turn. We'll follow up and capture the capture the t capture the uh, settlement. Fourteen hundred in the bank. We still want to keep up with our um, selling technology scheme. 
But I think actually with two universities, we may find ourselves in a situation where we don't actually have enough money to fund all the buildings to get all the techs researched. <laughs> so you're researching military syllabus. Okay, so yeah, we've got no industry techs we can research unless we spend most of our military budget, or most of our budget on upgrading one of these buildings, which is useful. Workers on strike in Georgia. They're not anymore. Okay. Let's attack the city ourselves. Oh no, I suppose the reason they attacked last time was because, to be fair, they were the aggressor. They were sallying out. I got it the wrong way around. That, make, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, this time, they if I set up, they shouldn't come after us. But we do need to push up quite aggressively. Okay. Still have my front line approach. My this unit's effectively become a skirmish unit. So set some guys up just to run through the town quickly. Mix up the left flank because we're going to be advancing rapidly. Camels are in good condition, which is great. Here, I thought I heard a charge. But no, we do need to push forward, try and deal with those guns. Uh, yeah, my Israeli attack them. Belayin musketeers push forward. Tag them enough for my Belayin. Get my gunners in position. Start picking off enemy units. So they might get some of my Israeli, but my Feline will mow them down. Hillmen are going to engage with the Camel Nomads. Didn't get any hits, but I think the uh, hill's in the way. Oh, general bodyguards behind stakes. Position, camels. Might better catch them just out of the stakes. Okay, the gunners are down. Camel nomads are going to be in trouble. It looks like they might be going all in to try to defend their general. To push forward, keep the surround going. Push forward, get ready to get into melee fight. Yeah, they've done the old switcheroo. Pull my camels out. Charge my camels and extricated their general. My camels are favoring. Probably fire from my guys doesn't help with that. General, charge that garrison Lazar unit. The camels are going to recommit. Go on, General, charge those Lazar. Gun them down. They're, they're already trying to run. Okay, now 
they're wavering. So they've done the old switcheroo. They tagged my uh, camels with their camels, brought in the Bashi Bazooks, but that didn't work for them. Hit the garrison is like a swordsman. Okay, they're dealt with. Deal with the last of these camel nomads. They are dealt with. And my line's still doing a good job at chewing them up. I want to get some of these melee units around the rear. Try and get the get their general's bodyguard. Okay, they're electing to try charge my general, so run my general around here, meet up with the Fellaim. Their camel nomads are coming in. This Fellaim unit engaged their Muslim. Run around into my Fellaim. See, I can do the old switcheroo too. Good. The Zars have broken. The Semini and the Sensor are going to break. Nice. It's just down to that camel nomad unit that's getting hacked to pieces by my men with swords and shields. We've got their general. Die. Nice. Good, good, good. I think I need more, more I definitely need more mobile elements. I think I've got a reasonable amount of firepower, a reasonable amount of melee units. My, I need more cavalry. Okay, let's take... What are you? Your guns? So I'm just going to take a couple of units out just to annihilate you. How about you? Even though I did involve my... the men in my army anyway. That's, yeah, that's going to take my entire budget to get that back. So let's do this... intelligently. Get a few of our units up, but it's going to take a bit of time. We're going to re re repair this government building. You, I need. I think I need mass. Really. I think I do need like a couple of units of levy. A horseman unit, just bulk up. Go for Baghdad. No, Dagestan. You're a different trading with us than the Russians. Should be okay. We're on for 2,300. I think I might have to... Ooh, does that really impact my... Yeah, that makes... That's, that tax level starts to make things shrink rather than grow. We are still blockaded. That's the real killer. I think if we took, if we took Baghdad and got a second port open, that would be really big. We'll see. Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. Well, kind of. Not too slow. <laughs> Monkeys are fast. But yeah, if we can get that port opened up again, we'll be in great shape. But I can't do that at the minute in any way unless I make peace with the Ottomans, which I really don't want to do. Oh, see, they got yeah, they do have a lot of firepower in the south. I think ultimately, if I go for Baghdad, I might need to take some of the troops from Yerevan south to support that attack. Because once we take it, we have to defend it. Unless we can make peace with the Ottomans. So we might... Oh. Come help us, Mughals. Although they've not got an army enough, enough of an army to do it yet. If I had an alliance with the Russians, that might not have happened. So we've lost trade with Dagestan. Can we get trade with anybody else? What if we just say... What if we just say hey nope okay do we just take out dagestan i mean they're well they're, they're not their their territory's really quite low value i think it's baghdad or bust 
realistically. I think we have to go for it. And take these units that are re that are replenishing, run them south. By the time they get down here, they'll be in good shape. So then the next round of replenishment up here. Then probably Probably a farm upgrade and try and keep hold of some money. That's probably the way to do it. 1100. Okay, see if we can sell some technologies. Plug bayonet for a thousand. No, we don't fancy it. What about the Moogles? No, we've sold them everything. What about Russia? No, okay, what about that plus these? For three grand. Oh. Okay, we've got some money there. I think it's roughly it's two techs per thousand is what we seem to be able to get. Maybe 2,000 Physiocracy? No. The physiocracy and Social Contract, because they are good techs. So you wouldn't even pay 1,000 for those two. You wouldn't have any money, to be fair. Um, the Ottomans are... Okay, who are the Ottomans' enemies? Oh, just... They're literally just... They're not even at war with Austria anymore. Ah. Oh. Tech. Okay, let's just try... Uh, 980. Okay. I wish I could arm the pirates. <laughs> okay, that's you. Okay. Is there nothing I could sell you, Britain? Common land enclosures. Well, if I do common land enclosures and plug banner and common land enclosures for a thousand. Good. Okay, so we're. We're selling our knowledge to build a war chest. A temporary war chest. So I think we're gonna... Yeah, what we're gonna need to do is... Well, catch a Baghdad and hold it. Which means probably dealing with a number of enemy attacks. Okay. This could work. Or we could take Baghdad and try and make peace. Or try and make peace with the Ottomans. That's a full stack army down in the south in Basra. With more coming. Uh, do you want to intercept? No. If you come for me, I will run away. Yep. This is going to be a risky play. Uh, yes, you can have military access to my land. I want that money. Yeah, I think I might have to try and make peace with the... If, if I can take Baghdad quickly, try and make peace with them, and see if I can get access to my trade again. I think that's going to be what I have to try and do. If they'll take it. They might not take it. Good. Okay. Let's just see what they've got. The city itself isn't that well protected. All of their troops are down here in Basra. Let's see if this works. If I can... See if I can grab Baghdad and make peace. Let's see if that works. They go. They don't have any defenses, so I've not got to worry about conducting an assault. But I, the army to the south makes me skeptical. If I at least take Baghdad and then run away, I'm at least interfering with their military production. It all depends what the army in Baghdad does. 
Okay. We've got a decent firepower block. Which may be anything a bit too big, a bit too wide. My general is going to be firefighting the melee behind the line. My camels need to wrap around. Hopefully, some of their units are choosing to defend a section of the wall. Okay. Let's rip forward. Can't afford to sit here and wait. The reinforcement's not much cop either. No. It's only a unit of Muslim. Who's getting hit? I, part of my gun line. Need to. I need to drive them forward. Into range of those musk. Into the range of those artillery pieces. These units push towards the. Um, push towards the. Bylock arm populace. So they might be able to deal with them before the Bashi Bazook, before that unit of Muslim, sorry, arrives. Okay, here they come. Okay, good. So the mortars are going to start being engaged along with the Israel, along with the uh, along with the Azars that have hidden themselves here. You're all going to okay, start to get a bit of a surround going. Gobble into the firelock arm populace. So now, my, once my Feline start getting in here, they'll start being cut down quite rapid. Charge the swordsmen, get my camels in to do a melee charge. It doesn't look like they're going to actually charge our line. No, they're not going to... I thought they were going to charge us, but they aren't. So if they're going to sit back, we're going to use that as an opportunity to... shoot them. Gunners are, are taking hits from... Okay, you're now officially out of range. Aha! Musadir. There's the levy, get the levy out here. Charge the Muslim, get my general up here, put the levy in. There's a couple of units routing. Nope, that's convinced them not to charge. Nope, okay. They want this so this is the thing with me, this is how with these kind of armies you end up having to work it. Pen them in. So when they charge, they charge because they don't have any. They, they charge because they have to, not because they want to. Let's get the Felin down here as well. Good job. Musketeers, get up. Melee troops, get up here. Jump on the bodyguard. Charge some of these units to make sure they don't come back. Pikemen over here, because that's where the Ooh, mercenaries, they, they're almost going to shatter their own guys. Camels, get in here. Back them up with the pikemen. You keep chasing the enemy. Get in, push forward. It's going to be a big melee scrum right now. 
We're just making sure they don't come back. Camel Nomads, get out of the combat. Okay, get my camels out of it. Ah, bad luck. Pikemen, try get for the Camel Mercenaries. The Levy are not in a good place. We can deal with that, man. We can deal. We can deal. Pikemen are surrounded there in a terrible place. Yeah, that flank got gobbled up. Here's my general. I'll get my general up here. Looks like they want to carry on the carry on the manoeuvre. Push forward. My camels are just they're effectively running amok. They can't decide where they want to be. Push forward. My general's providing bonuses. You need to push forward a bit. My camels have returned. There you go. See, they don't want to charge. That's why they're all just clustering in a big ball. We've had lots of energies going into getting people redeployed. Jump on the cannibal mercenaries because that's their general. These units get into position. Try and spin your guys around to put a volley in. There we go, opening up. The Bashi Bazooks wants to defend the general. But now it means that he's leaving my gun line and being shot in the back for the privilege. Yes. You no, know, General, don't get involved. We'll just die. Oh, killed the enemy, General. Okay. For a minute there. Don't say a stray musket ball killed my General. Okay. Right. Let's see if we can pull off a freak diplomacy win. Oh, I thought it might go for it. What if I say peace and trade? Okay, that's not ideal. You guys replenish. You guys try and make your way down to us inland. Call for reinforcements. Let's try and repair some of these buildings. Oh, so sometimes the AI kind of runs around going, ooh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? You need to do stuff, I think. I'm kind of concerned about... I am concerned about um, Dagestan. So we can recruit a couple of units here, but I think you have to kind of start committing yourself now. So let's get you guys replenished. Let's get... Recruiting anything is going to take a while. Try to get another camel unit. We need to start attacking some of these guys. Okay, let's recruit. Let's recruit some, some Fufangi because they are able to bulk out our army somewhat. What have you got? I mean, you've got a gun team plus some a mixture of good units. We don't have any artillery. Could maybe stand... I mean, I'd like 12 pounders. Maybe we'll spring for a unit of... K-1 
Okay, so the guns are more accurate. Cannons have longer range. Okay, I think we want to need to go guns for the accuracy. Okay, let's hit enter. If nothing else, bag owning Baghdad will uh, it will slightly boost our coffers somewhat, but hopefully. The idea that the Ottomans don't have a safe harbour now in the territory, they might break the siege. They might break the blockade rather, because they've got nowhere that port that ship has no safe operating location. It's a real punt, but gotta go for it. If they leave our port, we might better get some trade out of that as well. Oh, they're thinking. They're thinking. Mm. <laughs> Let's hope that the Istanbul problems count in our favour. They can't get troops over this side. Then they've still got Ankara, Damascus, Jerusalem, Cairo. They've still got loads of cities that can create, that can generate troops. So... In itself is not a it's not gonna it's not gonna necessarily help us as much as we would like but you know what we'll take it we'll take it but the armies of the north needs to get into action against some of these uh fragmented armies but if i can get trade opened up again that'll be huge that'll really help and then we can Start upgrading our tax base rather than just focusing on our economy or focusing on our military rather, and then we can do some good stuff. Um, but I'm going to cut the recording here because it looks like they're going to chug. So see you in a second, everyone. Radio. We're on the move. Stuff is happening. So the army, as expected, has moved out of the port towards towards Baghdad. They have moved out. So they've pushed out a unit of Zemondari horsemen and a unit of mob. Um, put these two units into Yerevan. They won't be able to take it. It does mean we'll lo we lose the ability to provide a bit of extra help. You're not going to get close enough to Baghdad. Okay. One option. Leave Baghdad. Leave Baghdad. Group, regroup our forces. So we've at least taken it for a turn. Deprive them of the income. Let's see if we can bait you actually into attacking them. But if they take Baghdad, because we don't get, we only got two garrison units anyway. Let them take Baghdad. Then we will take it back. So we don't have to worry about those guys for now. Or, oh, camel nomads, Feleen, Zemindari horsemen, Semini. One for one, we should be fine. Uh, this Valian unit is going to go up to Yerevan, just to just to make sure that, that things are okay. Two thousand. Okay, right. Oh, we've got it for a turn, but not enough to. We don't have any trade routes that are actually using it. Not that not not that this will help because we'll lose them immediately. Uh, usually the colonies like trading. Usually, Italian states are a no. Crimea? No. Barbary states? That is a pun. Uh, I will not pay you any money at all to do that. Well, people don't want to trade with us. So in theory, that gets a little bit of cash, but we're going to lose it as soon as this army gets in. Um, the idea is that this army takes Baghdad, these armies regroup, destroy this army, and then this area is secure next turn. That's the plan. 
and let's get an upgrade on the farm. We can't spend, we don't want to spend all this money. Right now, just let my techs run rampant. Research what you like. I can't help you. Um, let's hit N10. Because we'll then probably put Baghdad under siege. And then we can um, we can lay siege to them and try to trip their armies before we have to deal with them. And also the army to the north, they are going to commit troops in support of our attack. And then, ooh, yes, they're going to, oh, so for one turn, we might get a bunch of trade money. Oh, I'm going to auto-resolve to see what damage they can do. 421. So the arm... Ah, it's kind of not what I wanted. But they're splitting up their army. So you're going to withdraw. Okay, good. This is cut... And out comes... This out comes okay. They're raiding. That's okay. We'll probably sally from... Once our Felian cut get together... Although, mm, we might be getting into financial difficulty now. With nothing else, the outcome, we've got the outcome we are happy with, in that we've got a, a large amount of their troops in the city, which we can then lay siege to. Oh no, sorry, we're not bankrupt, because we are trading again. Excellent. So now you men get to here. We will probably go for it. Um, it is our trade that's keeping us alive now. Uh, I will spend a hundred to repair this. Just they'll probably bounce back. Although, to be fair, we can now do this. Let's go get them. See if we can see if we can kill them. Protect our trade. These three units will probably then become the core of an army that goes and attacks Dagestan. I mean, they're, they're still at some point probably going to just punch out from the north and attack us. But right now, I think things are pretty good. Gunners push forward. Feline on the flank. Camels on another. March towards the enemy. So the general is a horseman. But yeah, basically my camels can deal deal with the horsemen. My feline musketeers fix the enemy semini while my feline push up the flank. Ultimately, you could do this with two. Feline could just engage the um the Feline could just engage the Semini easily enough. But I like having one unit to fix the Semini, so they have to engage them, and then my melee troops run around the flank. Unless you want to just form a big blob, and then in which case we'll just melee all of you. Then I'm shooting my Feline. Okay, we're now in. Semini are upset. Hit them in the rear with the Feline. They're gone. Feline push forward. Boom, well, yeah, my Feline push forward. My Musketeers just hold. beating my camel there, man. Well, not with these guys in the mix now. So they might, they may well come back. Oh no, they're shattered. They aren't coming back. There we go. We've got parity. Now we've got superiority in numbers. I suppose this is their general unit as well, so it should be a bit more Sturdy. Yeah, 
here. Both these units are shattered. Heal the general. Okay, they're below half their number, so let's do a bit of a test. So at the very least, the Semini should be gone. Yeah, the cavalry, so something's still alive. You men can replenish. 3,000. See, that was a good chunk of change. Got a gun team that's just going to wheel up to the operational area. Okay, I think Yerevan might get better roads. And we're going to repair the farm. We're not going to go crazy on our spending. Okay, though, this bad boy is the big one. Go for this. Do I just attack? I think you can attack them and then push. Well, no, that. Mm, you can't attack him and then support the fight there. Two gun teams. Okay, let's. This is the fight we have to win. So you men might just defend the bridge. We have to win this one. This is the one. Let's go for Baghdad. We're going to go for Baghdad, then try go for peace. We It will be a very brief peace if we get it, because the Ottomans will be declaring war on us almost immediately again. But we will we'll have an army that we can strike west and attack Damascus and Jerusalem. They'll be in trouble. Okay. Got an awful lot of guys. I suppose I should really make sure. Right. First of all, you're my center of firepower. More skirmish and line units to Flank, or more um, line infantry units and skirmishers to flank. Another line infantry unit to flank around here. These guys can flank. These guys can flank. My pikemen are going to guard the line from cavalry charges. Cavalry and everybody, get ready to run. And camels on the right. General's going to be in the centre. Right, where's my centre of fire? Right. Sea Musketeers and Afghan Hillmen. Melee troops can take the hill. Backed up by camels. Make sure I don't forget my my, my pikemen. They've got a crucial job because my line is vulnerable, being smacked by cavalry. Okay, right. Everybody's actually getting into position, so everybody everybody run into position if you can take out a unit of camels, that'd be quite handy In the Semini, new units hold. Let the pikes catch up. Put a volley into them, that's still quite nice. Pikemen run in. Melee units push forward. Cavalry push forward. Pikemen can deal with them. They're giving up the right. We're not going to 
push aggressively. Too aggressively. We are going to advance. So we've beaten them on the right. Form our line. Pikeman holds to the front. Camel Nomads are taking a lot of losses. Charge forward. Oh, they're shattered. That's really tasty. Okay. The melee troops get here. Camels up on the top. Actually, we don't want to push up too far. Coming now. To the right needs to move forward. But their guns are all still limbered up. Keep applying pressure. forward. Don't quite like this ball shape we've got going on. Hello? The units are hiding. Bashi bazooks. Right where they want to be. We need to pursue them. Coming in. Arm populous at point blank range, that's fine. Camel push forward. charge and then jump onto the camels they're being shot in the back which is pretty good as well shattered excellent So our line is fixing the enemy. You guys need to get in on the flank of that enemy unit. Belly, charge them. Go on, Belly. Charge the horsemen, that might be their general unit. And some direct horsemen charge that weak unit of Felae. Push forward. Okay, charge forward on into the block. Camels are winning against the Camel Nomads. Push forward, Camel Nomads. Push forward, Blank Companies. Push forward into the Semini. So they form square. Where's my belly in this cluster? Horsemen are shattered, but get back. 
Hey, Felayin and everybody, retreat. Oh yes, commit. They've all broken catastrophically. Run into the mix, kill them all. Oh yes, we might actually carry this on. We might actually carry on this engagement here, because uh, yeah, that's a lot of kills. A lot of kills to be had. The army is destroyed, so we don't have to worry about that. That's definitely, you know, they're, they're gone. But if we can destroy them in such a brutal fashion, maybe. Maybe that might be enough to get them to decide to just perpetually just surrender and give up their war on us. You get them. You guys kill the gunners, cease fire in case you kill too many of my horsemen. Okay, now go after that unit of Bashi Bazooks. The real veteran camel units here. Yeah, the army will the army will disappear because they are um, there's a city battle. So once they lose, they are destroyed. But good. Kill that last garrison man. Okay, let's see if we can make peace, albeit temporarily, because that is a big loss for the enemy. Request peace. They are pleased with the outcome, allegedly. You know what? It might even trade with you. Just to really slow down their... Um, just to really slow down their... Uh, Decision-making process to declare war on us again. Right. You are going to go up here. You're going to be the star of the army to attack Dagestan. Because they are our other only enemy. Let's repair the government building, repair the school of calligraphers, recruit, recruit, repair the barracks. Two and a half thousand is what we are on. Um, we can probably do more than that. I mean, no, nobody wants to trade with us anyway. But still, money, economic development. Let's repair this. Let's upgrade the farm. Yeah, I think everybody's got dirt roads. Mosul. Put a craft workshop in Mosul. They're 100% Islamic. We don't have to worry about building religious buildings. Right, let's occupy. Well, actually, I can get this light galley over here to garrison Basra. Excellent. You can continue, actually. Good. You are going to hold here and wait for the armies to regroup. Okay, let's hit N10. That's big. That's really big. Let's get one turn of economic development going, and then I think it's going to be the end of the episode, because we are at... We're, well, we're over an hour. Well, things are going quite nicely. And also, it means that we can spend some money on building up our... Well, just upgrading our economy, upgrading our military infrastructure. Probably try and build a bit of a navy, but we don't... I don't want to give up either of my ports. Having that bottleneck for trade in one port is bad. If Georgia's port develops, they'll become a military port. Mm, it's kind of in the wrong... It's entirely in the wrong place. It's not on the Red... It's not on the uh, Persian Gulf. B 
yeah, let's get things repaired, get things upgraded, start to open up more avenues of research. 2,700. Okay. So you can get more, that get, gets us more trade partners. So much stuff. So much stuff. Um, I might upgrade the smiths because that opens up. Well, how are we doing for running out of things we can research? Kind of shot grenades. I think I might go for an iron workshop. Then next turn we might have to go for a drill school because that adds adds a lot of cool stuff, including the all important Kizilbashi cavalry. Um, might even drop my tax levels by one, just to e just to boost growth even more. My shard's going to grow in two turns. That's good. That's up here somewhere. Seven hundred and thirty-six. Right. I have to spend some of this on trying to actually that does fully cover you guys awesome um but looking at the timer i believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the next episode of my empire total let's play as persia cheers everyone